Hi, I'm Girish Menon and today I want to talk to you about an interesting insight on street photography. And the thing that I want to talk to you about is called zone focusing. Now very often street photographers will not use autofocus to focus from one picture to the other. Instead, they will set their lens to manual focus and pre-focus it to a certain distance. Now very often this distance would be about a meter or one and a half meters or two meters. Now when you do this and you set your aperture value between 8 and 11 depending on how, how much light there is, we find that we get acceptable sharpness through most of that picture. Now that sounds too good to be true but it's true and the best way to experience this is to actually try it. Now not every lens will have a distance scale on it so obviously you need a lens which has a distance scale and if you are really serious about street photography then it makes sense to get a lens with that distance scale. And the good news is there are a lot of third party lenses also available at much lower costs which have that distance scale and these lenses have come into being in recent years you didn't have them you didn't have such a wide variety of lenses third party lenses having this distance scale about 10 or 15 years ago now i clicked these pictures at the hornbill festival in the state of nagaland in india and i used a rico gr camera and i set the focusing distance sometimes to one and a half meters and sometimes to two meters set my aperture value to f8, I set the shutter speed to around 1 200th of a second, sometimes 1 500th of a second if I was moving fast, depending on the speed of my movement and the speed of the action between 1 200th of a second and 1 500th of a second. And I let the camera decide the ISO for me. So that made my life very easy. And I could just focus, I could just concentrate on the composition of my pictures because my camera was doing all the work for me. It was zone focused, it was pre-focused. So I could be sure that my pictures will have that acceptable sharpness throughout and the exposure was taken care of. I had that depth of field ensured by setting my aperture value to eight and I just had a great time. I could actually be present, enjoy what was going on around me and not have to uh, really look at any technical aspects of photography. So the next time you're out shooting street photography, please try to pre-focus, try this zone focusing thing and let me know how it goes. Please subscribe to my channel because every time you like my video, subscribe to my channel or leave my comment, YouTube, the, the YouTube algorithm thinks that this content is worth sharing with other people who are interested in these things and they recommend my video to a bigger audience. So your support will go a long way in ensuring that more people watch this video. And uh, if we haven't met before, I'm Girish Menon and I teach photography over live Zoom calls. You can be based anywhere in the world and still learn photography from me now. Isn't that cool? So please check out my website www.girishmenon.com to have a look at the courses and webinars and various things that I offer. And I look forward to hearing from you real soon.